what's the crack lads we are back it is thursday morning and we've got a brand new offensive genius showtime so you've got the pie you've got ritz and you've got julian alvarez and these are from their national teams so you've got germany's oh kickoff glitch straight away from the, the trailer that's not good lads that's not good but anyway we do have a couple of new uh players here that are showtime we'll have a look at their stats in just a minute and of course we will be streaming in a little bit as well They've really kind of gone all out for these Showtime cards. Ads. And in fairness, man, they make the show cards and the Showtime cards look very attractive. And obviously the fact that you're able to give them another booster and they'll probably change that booster and be able to kind of add different things. These look like they're kind of like long range shooting kind of players. So it is going to be interesting to see um, how these cards kind of shake up the meta. But we're going to show you why I think you should wait until Monday in just a second because you know we have got end game cards coming on monday as well so we'll show you we'll show you in a second but just to kind of finish off this trailer here looks to be very blitz curler ish uh, and long range shooting so maybe they're going to tweak long range shooting a little bit usually in the trailers they give a little bit of a hint as to what's to come right but anyway that is the showtime cards as you see there the rest of the cards that you have the spanish league attackers they're still ongoing login bonus all that stuff is still there the 800 million campaigns is still ongoing and we do get our last free 800 million download campaigns card which is Xerxy. we already got the licked and bruno fernandez if you have been playing the game for a little bit and also that campaign is going to be finishing up now i did a video on this before but i'm also going to do another video on it because i know i'm going to get a ton of questions we'll also go through it in the live stream as well basically they are going to be removing managers and players and you can go in and you can check that out in support and on a and in the unavailable list i've already a video up on it but i will do a dedicated video because it's part of a different kind of video or within a video right so there's going to be certain players that are taken out from v4.2 on and it says that we do get a release date for v4.2 which is bit big news it is to be released in december 2024 now i have heard in december's update which is going to be v4.2 that it's actually going to be a big update like a huge update from what i've heard so hopefully that stays true and we'll go over a couple of bits and pieces for that as well there is also another survey now lads to be honest with you man i i don't know what they're trying to achieve with these surveys i'm trying to stay positive but i honestly don't know why you know these surveys man they need to go into really kind of the nitty gritty right um so it's going to be interesting to see but we will do that again on the stream as well because i know the survey is going to take about 15 20 minutes also they talk about today's maintenance we changed how the progression of some objectives are counted specifically in cases in case there are two objectives called clear objectives competing one i can't even read that man it's just completely tongue-tied there but yeah essentially just to simplify that they talk about um the when you're clearing objectives if there's an objective that you're clearing at the same time you'll be able to clear both of them at the same time essentially that's all it is and also xerxy does come here as well now onto the cards right so we've already kind of looked at what we're going to be getting today these are all our rewards there um the rest of the stuff in the matches and in eFootball league events it's pretty much the same boys it's it's it's, it's as you know but they do bring back gold and gold now gold and gold is very good um when you do want to clear your match pass super quick and obviously there's a bit of time left in the match pass but if you are looking to train up your cards really really simply and get through the match pass as simple as possible this is the way to do it um if you want to do that national team event is going to give you your skill trainer and then of course your spanish club is going to give you your skill trainer as well with your 50 coins so against the ai you've got the champions league that's going to give you a new box spin at them you've also got this one here which is going to give you your player of the week spin and then we do have the english clubs as well which is on legend difficulty right so they do give you a random skill uh, booster token here as well um it says superstar and uh, legend difficulty here as well listen i like what they're trying to do i just feel like that you know there's just a lot going on here with these events right that it just feels that the events are kind of like a slight afterthought especially the fact that they only don't expand co-op you know that's kind of the real the real one that people are asking for but then the problem is that not a lot of people are playing co-op so you know what do you do i mean you're 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 losing on both ends i suppose um in terms of everything else then usually we just have the missions and the objectives that are going to be cleared up and we have them still here so this 800 million download uh campaign that is going to be over this time next week and then we're going to be getting a new update to that obviously the eFootball league and the phase and all that that will stay on um but the match pass again that's not over till the 7th of the 11th so that's going to be the next kind of match pass update in the next eFootball league phase um and i'm just interested in the gameplay today lads honestly the gameplay last stream was was very very tough for us 
So on to the players, just to round it off, we have the offensive genius, we have the national team player of the week, we have a Brazilian selection, we have an AFC Champions League elite, and we also have the Spanish and all of these still ongoing, right? So any of these freebies you'll still be able to get, I'm just kind of racking up these on my other account. Um, but these offensive genius players, lads, they come in a box here um, with Ritz, uh, Gakpo, and of course Julian Alvarez. I said uh, I said Depay at the start of the video, so apologies, man. Um, Evan Ferguson is actually in here as well. This wouldn't be a bad shout, man. I'd like to get Evan Ferguson. He's got 27 levels. It's not a brilliant card, um, but it looks pretty decent. Vritz looks to pick up him, obviously, with his booster. And it doesn't look like he has... Oh, he has momentum dribbling. He has momentum dribbling, so that's the skill for him. Looks very, very decent. 31 levels, yeah. This guy is going to be insane. Uh, he will be very decent. We'll do a full review on them. And Alvarez should have blitz, I would say, or phenomenal. Phenomenal finishing he has. So very, very nice cards um there we'll do a little bit more detailed on them as well and then also he's on e rating but he does have some nice skills but he doesn't have any of the showtime skills uh cody gakpo so um apologies for calling you uh the pie earlier on bro uh alex bena evan ferguson Fu furik um cordoba and openda of course they all scored over the, the last couple of days as well um, and then obviously the player of the weeks as well. They are from players that have had good games. So we did actually think that we were going to get a few more here. Uh, oh, we got Salah as well. We got Arnold, Subimende. Uh, who else do we have, man? We've got a couple of players in here. Of course, the Greek boy as well after the Shrine Ireland the other day. So Bozilai is there as well. It's not a bad selection, but none of these really interest me. But we will do a review on that if you want. Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, man. We'll do a review on all of these in the live stream as well. As of right now... I don't think that anything really is going to be changed up too much until, obviously, the next big update, which seems to be coming in V4.2. So, one thing I want to show you, lads, is why I think you should save your coins. If you are wondering, should you get the showtime? Boom. This is what is coming Monday. Patrick Vieira, Lillian Turam. Turam is going to be Fortress. Patrick Vieira doesn't seem to have a showtime skill or an extra skill just yet, but he is down as a DMF, and also Xabi Alonso with Visionary Pass as well. I think if you've been waiting for Patrick Vieira, I think this is going to be literally end game until eFootball 2026 DMF. I have Vieira already, and he's just probably like on the, the first name on the team sheet every game. He's, he's almost too good. Like, he's just unbelievable. Rijkaard and him are very similar, but obviously they're different play styles, different way of, of moving on the pitch. Um, and then obviously T Turam, I would say that Turam is in top five right backs or center backs in the game. I mean, he's just, you can't get past him. He's just unbelievable. So they are going to be two really good packs. Xabi Alonso is always interesting as well. He is going to be slow, but with the way the game has gone at the moment, he'll still be able to catch anybody. So if you want, that is going to be coming on Monday. We'll do a video as well, going into their stats in a little bit more detail. But that is it, lads. We uh, I will be back in the live stream in just a little bit, and I hope to see you there. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll talk to you then. Peace.